Hello, my name is Kent Risky. I'm the president and owner of Professional Designers and Engineers and the developer of ProBelt computer software for belt conveyor, belt feeder, and pulley shaft design. Today I'd like to talk to you a little more about accuracy of the belt conveyor program. You can see information on our website. It's ProBell. Here's, here's our address and information. The website is www.probelt.com. You can put in the hyphen or leave it out. You can send me email, phone, or faxes. First of all, I'm going to launch the software. This is running on a Windows XP system. It runs best on this system. Uh, we do have other measures for running on Windows 7, which will be covered in other videos. Today I'm going to select the conveyor program. And I'm going to retrieve a file. Okay, this file is for a very long overland belt conveyor, more than 12,000 meters long, which is more than seven miles in a single flight. The reason I picked pick this uh, conveyor is because the owner had performed extensive tests on the conveyor, and uh, we have that data. The conveyor was designed and built by others, but it had major problems. Uh, the reason for these tests was to resolve the problems. I ran the ProBelt software for this conveyor to compare it with the owner's information. The, uh, the conveyor had a, a small decrease in elevation of 41 meters, which was 134 feet. Therefore, most of the power is due to friction. Now, calculating friction in conveyors is the difficult part. Uh, uphill conveyors, downhill conveyors, the lift and drop are scientific absolutes, so everyone gets the same answer for those. The question is long overland conveyors. In this particular conveyor, uh, the test results by the owner, the motor power was required was 1720 kilowatts, which is 2307 horsepower. I ran the ProBelt program right out of the package with just default input data and obtained power rating of 1,746 kilowatts or 2,341 horsepower. This is an accuracy within one and a half percent. So you can see that ProBelt software is not conservative, doesn't have fudge factors. It's extremely accurate. Let me show you uh, some of the information here. If we go to our data input screen, this is for the trophy belt. I divided this conveyor up into 14 sections. We can have as many as 24 sections, but as you can see, uh, we get very good results with, uh, with this number of sections. You don't have to have 100 sections in a conveyor to do an accurate design. And in going through the software, you can select values based on minimum recommendations that the software gives you. For instance, the counterweight, the program gives you a recommended value and you put in a larger value. If you type in an incorrect value, you will get an error message. And these errors appear on the screen and on the printout. 
so you're always able to do an accurate calculation. In addition, there's on-screen help with the F1 help key. Information pops up in a window that is written specifically for that cell, so you can depend upon it. In another example, I want to talk about accuracy, is for belt feeders. Uh, one company had a project where they wanted to design 15 major belt feeders for the copper mines down in Chile. Uh, they were a little concerned on this large of a project, so they went to another copper mine here in North America and they ran a test on a large belt feeder there. They then brought the data back, ran their ProBelt software, and found the ProBelt accuracy was phenomenal, actually. They went ahead and designed all the project in confident, with confidence. So if you'd like more information, go to our website. You can download the demo. Write in email, email if you have any questions. Uh, the prices are there on our price schedule. And we've shipped software worldwide. We have a metric version that's very popular internationally. Uh, ProBelt is used by many companies in Chile designing belt conveyors for the numerous copper projects there. Uh, our English version with Imperial units, of course, is the most favored in the United States and Canada. So, if you have any questions, give me a call. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.